the August 8th date that you referred to, was that in, in any way follow up? Was that follow up investigation? Follow up to what? Well, you stated that you had spoken previously before the August 8th date. So the question is, was the August 8th date follow up to the investigation that you were already actively lead of? I mean, everything is related to this investigation. The so, investigation continues every day. It's not end, it will not end until this trial is over. <clears throat> So what follow-up was needed at the time of the August 8th interview? I'm guessing that's what you would call it. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Objection, still calls for hearsay, Your Honor. Sustained. Why did you need to talk to Ms. Woods multiple times? every time we spoke to her we got different information and at that time we were following up with your niece and nephew of what their testimony would be in this case uh, what testimony are you referring to because i don't recall any nieces or nephews testifying i don't think i'm allowed to say it I think this line of questioning is irrelevant, Your Honor. Um, I'll sustain the objection, and in an appropriate break, I can uh, address it further if need be. Please move on to an, a new topic, sir. made reference to uh, people who were injured at the parade inadvertently. You recall that? Yes, I do. To your knowledge, were any of those charged? My testimony before is that those people's cases were not charged. And were they seen as victims? I'm going to object to the form of that question. I think it calls for a legal conclusion, Your Honor. It does not. I ask to, I ask to his knowledge. I'll sustain the objection as to the form of the question. If you could please rephrase. Do you recall serving a warrant to the Waukesha County Jail on July 1st of 2022? Yes, I do. Do you recall what that was for? Yes, I do. And what was that for? Can you stay for the record and for the jury? 
is for Mr. Brooks's jail cell. And why did you serve a warrant for a jail cell? Your Honor, I didn't object pursuant to legal rulings previously issued in this case. I don't think this is relevant. Um, I'll sustain the objection. It's not relevant. I'll certainly take it up at a later point if need be. What was the warrant pursuant to? I sustain the objection. Next topic, please. He did answer. He's, I'm, I sustained the state's objection. I'm directing him not to answer. We'll take it up separately. I want to. I'll have you continue with your cross-exam, and I'll take it up uh, later. reference to this vehicle driving into you but stated you were not injured did you file a claim in this matter no I did not <coughs> do you consider yourself an injured party in this matter no I do not do you yourself know if anyone filed a claim in this matter can you be more specific do you yourself know if anyone filed a claim in this matter? Just in general? Whatever your interpretation of that will be? I would say yes. And do you know what that <laughs> claim was? Uh, I would imagine that there was a lot of injuries from the people. A lot of people had very um, extensive medical bills. I imagine that they would file a claim with their insurance company to have those bills paid. So you had knowledge of what was filed to their particular insurance companies? I have no knowledge, but my assumption is that they would have filed those bills. So it would be fair to say you don't know for sure. That was my testimony. Is that the answer? Yes. Investigator, for this matter, um, where are you, to your knowledge, aware of any uh, uh, GoFundMe type of uh, type of things? Jackson in, in relevant. To I'm sorry. Uh, do you mean as it relates to? As it relates to the incident. Um, overruled the witness. May answer. I have no direct knowledge but I assume that there are some GoFundMe pages out there. It's typical in something like this. And what do you mean by typical? You've seen this before? Is that what you mean by typical? We have a very loving and caring community where a lot of times when bad things happen to people, people pull together and offer financial assistance to help people. Is it fair to say that, that there's a lot of communities like that across Wisconsin? Yes, I think there are.
And it would be fair to say that you've worked extremely close with the district attorney's office during the entirety of this matter. Would that be fair to say? The district attorney's office has been involved in this investigation um, since the night of, so we have worked closely. So it would be fair to say extremely close seeing as how you've been present for the whole trial pretty much? Can you define extremely for me? I would like you to define it extremely. I'll answer yes if that helps. To your knowledge, do you know if it's typical for a lead investigator to sit right behind the prosecution table at a trial? Yes, it's very typical. It happens in uh, most larger cases, um, especially a case of this magnitude. There would be a court officer. Um, so yes, that's a very typical thing that happens. Have you ever done this before? I've done this multiple times before. And are you the only detective in the, in the investigation that uh, has that honor? Objection vague. Grounds. Sustained us to the form of the question. Are you the only detective directly involved in an investigation that sits with the prosecution? You're talking about this case or any this, case? This particular or? case. You, I'm sorry, you interrupted me. Could you repeat that, please? Well, um, then you said this case. I'm referring to this case, yes. Could you re-ask the question, please? Are you the only detective actively involved in this investigation that sits with the prosecution in yeah. reference to this case? Yes, I'm the only person, the only detective that's sitting with the prosecution during this trial. So would you explain who the other officer is in the blue suit over here? Objection to the relevance, Your Honor. Grounds? Sustained. I just want to know his role. Sustained. Next question, Reason for the please. sustain. Not relevant. He's been in the courtroom the whole trial. How is it not relevant? Mr. Brooks, next question, please. Nobody knows who he is. That should be known. It's not relevant to the issues that the jury thing. needs to determine. Next question, sir. Is it asking or telling? I'm assuming that's asking. Do you have a question, sir? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I would like to get to it. Thank you. Please do so. Thank you. I, oh, I will. So seeing as how you sat with the prosecution for the entirety of this matter, it would be fair to assume that you know who the plaintiff is in this matter. Yes, I do. And who would the plaintiff be in this matter? The state of Wisconsin. Is that an entity or a living human being? It's an entity. How can an entity file a claim? Objection. Grounds. Legal conclusion. Grounds. Sustained. You are, you are aware that only a living, breathing human being can actually file a claim. A, a, a entity cannot walk into anywhere and file a claim if it's not even a, a, a real person. Objection. You are aware strike. of that, right? Go ahead, Attorney Upper. Move to strike the statements by Mr. Brooks. Also object to the question that was asked at the end as irrelevant, argumentative, 
and calling for a legal conclusion. Objection is not calling the, for a legal conclusion in any the way. The court sustains the objection. The request to strike the statements made by Mr. Brooks are granted, or the request is granted. The jury will disregard the statement and the question asked for all of the reasons indicated by the stated also is a misstatement of the law. No, I, I definitely object to that, Your Honor. Your objection is noted. Um, I'm going to have the jury stand for a second. They've been sitting for quite some time, and then you can formulate your next question. I'll take, I'll take exception to that ruling. <coughs> and would like a legal finding of fact. <coughs> your objection is noted. It's overruled. And that's a judicial determination. Thank you. Be seated. Go ahead, Mr. Brooks. Please continue with your question. Have you ever had any interactions with this entity, State of Wisconsin? Mr. Brooks, under 906.11, I'm not going to allow the witness to answer. It's vague. There, there, was, no, there was no objection. Under 906.11, <coughs> I shall exercise reasonable control over the mode and order of interrogating witnesses. Please, next topic. These questions we, were, we addressed during the initial cross-examination of this witness. They're going to keep coming up. And I determined at that time that they weren't relevant. So next topic, They're please. They're going to keep coming up. Um, under 906.11, <coughs> sir, please move on to a new topic. They're going to keep coming up. Or the cross-examination, I will... Um, and do you, do and you see do you see the state of Wisconsin present in the courtroom today? Objection, argumentative, Grounds. irrelevant, Grounds. sustained. Final warning, sir. Next topic or the cross examination. I will you, you bring it you to it. Keep, you don't got to keep doing that, Your Honor. You don't got to keep doing that. It's my responsibility, sir, over this trial. I, I'm informed. And Thank I you. And Next I respect topic. that. But it's relevant for the jury to know the truth. They deserve to know the truth. Move to strike, Your Honor. Granted, the jury will disregard Gra those last statements. Are not relevant. That. Mr. Brooks is not testifying. They mistake the law. I object to that. That's not lawful law. It's Noted. Not truthful. All right. Under 906.11, I am now uh, stopping the cross-examination. Any redirect by the state? Objection to that. And I would like to go find an effect. Uh, Attorney Opper, any redirect? Yes, just very briefly, Your Honor. I would like to display for the witness only exhibit 178. Objection. I haven't seen the exhibit yet, so I'll take well, it under I'm, advisement. I'm, I'm objecting still because the, the... You may show it to the witness. There, there needs, it needs to be an answer to why the, the jury's not being told information that they deserve to know. Go ahead, Attorney Offer. Your Honor, for the record, this is a video I'm going to play about the first five or ten seconds for the witness to identify it before uh, moving on, please. And this this seems objection because this seems like a whole new exhibit. This was never mentioned before. It was never. I haven't seen it. I can't rule on it, sir. So let me I mean, see it, and I'll take your objection under. I'll take the objection under, exhibit, I'll take it, the it objection under advisement. Go ahead. I haven't seen this in any of the exhibits that I have, so how could it just be created now and be made an exhibit? Go ahead, Attorney I have Upper. all the exhibits. Go ahead, Attorney Upper. I haven't seen it yet. There's nothing on my screen that I can see. I see it's now playing. So now we're just creating exhibits now. I have all the exhibits, and this was never any. Oh, man. All right, you can stop. Sir, do you recognize what's contained in State's Exhibit 178? Objection. Overruled. Relevancy. <coughs> Overruled. Leading. Go ahead and answer. Yes, I do. What is it? Objection. Leading. Overruled. The witness may answer. You still uh, you still, I'm still going to object. How is this? 
Mr. I Brooks, I ask that you honor I have all the, the ruling that I've made. I have made. all the exhibits, though, Your Honor. I have Mr. them all. Brooks. They were provided to me, and this was never in the exhibit, so how could it just be made an exhibit? I'll take this out up the outside the presence of the jury, but I'm going to allow can it. I, can that be stated for the record? Can that be explained? No. The jury will disregard the statements made by Mr. Brooks. They're not evidence. And the statement continue. So this exhibit shouldn't be evidence then because Mr. it didn't Brooks, exist the before today. objections noted. It's overruled. Go ahead. This, there was a still photo shown before of Mr. Brooks this standing in front of the four escape. This is the video in which that still photo was taken from. You objection. How does he know that? Um, overruled. The witness may answer. I'll give you the opportunity to question him about it when the state's done asking the questions. Go ahead. <laughs> Where'd you get this video from, sir? Objection leading. Overrule the witness may answer. From Mr. Brooks' social media uh, account. Okay. Your Honor, move to admit 178 and permission to publish. Objection to the relevancy. I oh, find that it's relevant. It's I'll okay. receive exhibit 168. Permission to publish is granted. Um, for the record, uh, it's 178, please? Your Honor. No, could you please tell me the length of the video? The length is 2 minutes 33 seconds. We're going to play it in its entirety, but without volume, Your Honor. All right, thank you. And uh, I, I object to that. And I would like to make an offer of proof for my appeal. We'll do that outside the presence of the no. jury, but I will allow the state to play it in its entirety without audio. Your Honor, I have all the exhibits. They were provided. Mr. Brooks, I'll take that up along with the other two issues I still need to but address. How, but how can you play something that's not that I didn't? Mr. Even Brooks, have? I'll take that up outside the presence of the jury. This Your is objections are noted. This is it's mind boggling. Mind boggling. Actually, uh, Your Honor, I. Change my mind. I would like to play the audio, please. This is mind boggling. Um, I want to have it played first without, and then I'll make a ruling and I'll take that up. Um, okay, I understand. Thank you. So we will play the entire video, Your Honor, two minutes, 33 seconds. I object to that. Why, why does the whole video need to be played? Is, is this setting the foundation? It's relevant. You questioned the officer about it. You questioned I the question detective him about, about I his question knowledge. I questioned him about the steel frame from the video. The video wasn't even in, in the exhibits that I received. I actually didn't even receive them. Mr. Brooks, please obtained. stop. The jury will disregard his statements. He's not testifying. The video's playing. Sound. I want to hear it now. I'll address that later. We address why it is. It was created out of the blue, too.
Go ahead, attorney, after the video is finished playing. Thank you. Sir, did you see during the uh, playing of that video the uh, image that was captured as a screenshot and presented to you uh, in your direct testimony as state's exhibit number 175? Objection leading. Overruled foundational, the witness may answer. Yes, I a did. Lot of, a lot of <coughs> You were questioned on cross-examination as to your ability to identify Mr. Brooks in exhibit 175, correct? Objection. That question was asked initially by attorney Opper. Overruled. The yep. witness may answer. Sorry. Yes, I was. As you just watched the entire video again now in court, as states exhibit 178, did you clearly see Mr. Brooks in that video, sir? Objection. Leading. Overruled. The witness may answer. I believe there's no doubt that that's Mr. Brooks in the video and later standing next to the forest cave. Thank you. I don't have any other questions, Your Honor. As to this particular piece of evidence only, Mr. Brooks, you may uh, ask questions of Detective Casey. Objection. I don't consent to being called that name. And yeah, Noted. Do you have question. any questions for the witness? This, uh, when, when did this video, when was this made a, a exhibit? Because I don't have it. Objection. That's not a question for the witness, Your Honor. That, that was a question. A question. When was this as to the form of a question. When was this video made an exhibit? That is a question. I object to the question directed at the witness, Your Honor. It's beyond the scope of his knowledge. Sustained. Well, he said he saw it. But that's not the question asked. So you can rephrase your question if you want to. When did, when did you see this exhibit? When did you see it? With the understanding that you're asking when did he see the video, I will when allow the question to When did you see this exhibit? Asked. With that understanding, you may answer Detective Casey. Am I answering when I saw the video for the first time? Yes. 